So this video is going to be a demonstration of how you can use Play-Doh alongside 3D printing in order to create circuits that are both usable, very easy for young students to work with, and durable. So to demonstrate, here are two little strips of Play-Doh. And Play-Doh has conductive properties, like a wire. And you can take LEDs, and these are just small light bulbs. I'll plug four of them into the Play-Doh here. And with just a simple 9-volt battery, I can use the 9-volt battery to power the circuit and light up four LEDs. The problem with this, though, is that the Play-Doh will dry out very easily. And so you can use 3D printing to create little cases. And this is a case that snaps together. And if you open up the inside, you see that you have two uh, channels, two containers of Play-Doh. This, this cover, all, all printed with a, with a 3D printer, snaps directly on. And you can see in the bottom there, you can see the two, um, the two channels of Play-Doh. We can stick in an LED, and with um, a couple of leads, and these are just simply wires, stick them in the holes that are already pre-cut from the 3D printer, attach it to a battery, in the right direction, and your LED lights up. Once you've mastered this, then you can start working with more complex circuits. So this is an early version that's 3D printed, and you can see on the back, strip of Play-Doh, strip of Play-Doh, and you can attach it, you can again use the same, um, you can use the same 9 volt battery, and you can create a parallel circuit of four LEDs. Because of the precision that you have from 3D printing, you can start making some even more complex, some even more complex circuits. This is an Arduino. It's a microcontroller. Um, it's basically a tiny handheld computer. Here you have a, a similar version of a 3D printed circuit. And you can see in the bottom we have one channel full of Play-Doh and five smaller channels. Um, these are paper clips. Um, classrooms have paper clips. No reason not to use them. These are paper clips that go from the Arduino to the circuit. Um, and when I plug a 9-volt battery into the Arduino, it powers the Arduino. And a program in the Arduino um, results in the circuit uh, lighting up, sending a different signal to each one of these LEDs, and these LEDs can light up in sequence.